Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the dumbbell shoulder exercise that becomes nearly impossible. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, if you've experienced this, drop a comment down below. I want to hear your personal experiences. So I had a client come to me this morning and say, hey, this is this sounds ridiculous, but when I am trying to do dumbbell overhead press, and I have most of my clients consider seated dumbbell overhead press, but it doesn't really matter, um, I'm having fits, having a lot of problems getting the 70s up into position from my knees to the shoulder level. So my client basically assumed this was a silly uh, predicament, and I responded and let him know that it's actually quite normal. It's actually a good gauge as to whether you have built a quality amount of dumbbell overhead strength. Because when you get to the point where it's almost, where it becomes extremely difficult to get the dumbbells from your knees up to your shoulders for a seated press, you are getting pretty strong. Now, over the years, I've built my dumbbell overhead presses up, up to as much as 120 by 120s by fives back in 1970, 19, uh, 1997 to 1999. And recently, when I was training for my last powerlifting meet, I would do three sets of 100s for 10 reps. And honestly, the hardest part of the movement for me was that double clean action to try to get both dumbbells into position at the same time. I remember training at the Tiger Fitness Gym and trying to do this when there's nobody at the gym or training in my home gym when there's nobody there. And it could be a real difficult exercise. I always feared that I was going to tear a bicep. And quite frankly, a lot of times just getting the dumbbells in a position was as taxing, if not more taxing, than the set. And it obviously wasn't great on my joints either. So here's the thing. What I recommend, if you are at to that point or you get to that point, consider switching to a single arm overhead press. And at that point, it's probably best to do a standing single arm overhead press. When I'm doing them here in this gym, it's real easy. You can use the assistance of your other hand, get it in position, and then knock out your reps. Um, you know, it's, it, makes it, it makes life so much easier when you get the assistance of the other hand. And standing, you get that good quality base. You can get some really good footing and really get some quality reps in. So the, the seated dumbbell overhead press or the two-arm dumbbell overhead press, excuse me, becomes one of the most difficult exercises to execute for many of us just because it's hard to get the dumbbells into position if you don't have gym partners, gym buddies, you're training alone or whatever. So at that point, I strongly recommend switching to the single arm standing overhead press. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video, and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.